The way we played at United away and Watford at home, Norwich away, in a way you didn't really want it to end because we, was, we sort of got in a groove as a team and top performances. But yeah, we're here now. Um, fixtures out today. Um, they've not been kind to us again. Um, Newcastle at home, which is a really tough game. And then I think we played the seven best teams in the league in the next seven. So um, it is what it is. We've got to get ready for the season. I managed to switch off a little bit, but you still think about the season and the next season to come. Um, and just sort of trying to look after yourself, but you do need a rest. Simple as that. The, the tough games we had at the end of the season, I think it ended up being a 56 week season or whatever during the lockdown, but we were still working. So, um, but it was nice to finish it, nice to go on holiday, nice to spend time with the family, but. Um, yeah, back pre-season training again. I think it's my 19th pre-season, so. For me, pre-seasons are about, obviously, getting fitness, but um, getting a team together somewhere away, you know, here, beautiful place like St Andrews, and um, just having a laugh, uh, having fun with the lads, but you know, you've got, <laughs> it's tough, really tough, and the best thing about that is that you, you sort of spend four days literally in, in each other's pockets um, you know, sitting because there's not obviously there's not much to do you're so tired you can't you, we ain't gonna get we can't play golf every day we might get one round if we're lucky but um yeah it's a, it's a good laugh and um, I do I do really enjoy pre-season as much as they are I enjoy them in this strange new world how impressed have you been with the way that the club's kind of adapted to the new circumstances I think Karen will be Karen Brady will be the first to say to you that we she spoke with me a lot and with the senior pros at the club and I thought the way the club dealt with the the situation was fantastic you know sort of under the radar paid all the staff um, the, the players took a, a deferral of course and we just got it done, you know, and I think that really helped us to push on and, and have a great end to the season. If you look at the last seven, eight games, we showed a, a real high level of consistency. We need to carry that on. I love the fact that you got, obviously, Dex still a young player, um, Ben Johnson, uh, Grady back, and if we can keep the Keep the keep the young the young players coming through to push the older players and players like Jared and um, obviously Thomas Pablo Fornells you know keep these young players pushing the older players to get in a team that's what we need. <laughs>